Okay, Amanda, we've seen COVID-19 change a bunch of industries. Oh yeah, everything. Everything. But now it's changing the fashion industry. Some apparel companies claim that their clothes can, quote, protect you from viruses. Joining us now is Dr. West to talk about that. So my first question to you, can this new apparel protect you from viruses or is this just hype to sell clothes? Well, you guys, I read the article and the first thing that I'm saying is, hey, I wanna buy stock. Like this is such a neat way to like, jump in on the fear that's going on. And, and this is one of the problems we're having to deal with the COVID-19 problem is like where what's legit information and not legit information. And there's so much fear around this whole process because, you know, are the clothes good? Is the mask really helpful? Is this virus smaller than the mask? And then the same logic that you would use on mask. And I just had a patient that's like, I am so sick from breathing my own exhaust. I mean, that's exactly what they said. I thought that was really kind of interesting is how they said, like, I'm just regurgitating stuff and I've had all these past <laughs> lung problems. And so she's fighting the, this thing, but it's the same way. Like I read the article about the German manufacturer that they're like putting colloidal silver fibers into their clothes and they're saying, hey, it's reducing the in incidence of infection and you know in, in theory that it looks good except that the virus particles are like hundreds and hundreds of times smaller than the pores in the clothes and so it's kind of hard for me to get behind in all honesty okay so we should be taking the colloidal silver into ourselves not just wearing it on our bodies right <laughs> well I, i'm a big fan of silver and we know that silver is antimicrobial like mm -hmm. it, it it wax bad guys like in hundreds of not hundreds of years ago 80 90 years ago we would put a silver proteinate solution into kids eyes when they were born to get rid of the risk factor for neisseria gonorrhea that would cause blindness mm -hmm. and then we've kind of moved to the antibiotic approach and so when if a patient said hey dr west what do you think about these clothes i would say well I'm not opposed to anything that is going to help you get a better peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And there's certainly some rationale for why do they do that, but we don't know if it works or not. Like, yeah. There's just not enough data yet. Yeah. All right. Dr. West, we certainly appreciate your time. So if, if you've learned anything, just put the diesel jeans on if they look good, not <laughs> to protect you, right? Just right. put them on. All right, thank you so <laughs> exactly. much. Exactly, like if you feel good about yourself, that's probably gonna help your immune system. And there's the benefit of how you feel about yourself I don't necessarily think it's the clothes. There you go. Good stuff there. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Makes a lot of sense though <laughs> when you think about it. I mean, if you feel good, boost your 